guys so today's video is gonna be a do-it-yourself project now I'm a very hands-on person if you guys don't know I'm currently in this phase of doing a lot of things in my home the way I want to for a long time and I don't know I have just finally got into the phase now I wanted some vanity lights and I wanted not to pay $300 for these lights um, I looked on YouTube on different ways to get vanity lights. I saw the ones from Lowe's, the ones from Ikea, Home Depot, etc. I went with the ones from Ikea because um, as a gift to me for my Valentine's Day, my husband treated me to whatever I wanted and I chose to get a lot of stuff I wanted from Ikea for my home. So I'll talk about that in the next video. But the lights I will be using to do this do-it-yourself video today are these lights from Ikea they're called the music I don't even know if I'm holding the box straight so when you get the box this is how it looks it's $14.99 $15 to be exact now I'm gonna show you everything you need you don't have to use exactly everything I'm using but um, you can also get other stuff so you will need some standard wire connectors these are a dollar and something from Home Depot I call this a drop card and it's known as an extension card which is the same thing but I'm accustomed to saying a drop card because that's what we say in Guyana. Um, I got the six feet. Um, these were a dollar and I believe 97 cents so I got that. I got two of them. I've already did one of the the bars but I just wanted to show you guys how I did this because I post the picture on Instagram and you'll need the lights. Now you can get the lights from Ikea but they're pretty expensive and these lights yourself are pretty expensive in general. But I picked up the daylight one and these are the deco which is basically decorating lights. They have the wrong ones. Now those are a little bit more expensive and my Home Depot did not have them and honestly I didn't really care. I just wanted the lights and also the wrong ones they do not come in daylight form which was the soft white. I don't like soft white. I prefer daylight bulbs is what I've been using to record with and they work just fine. So I got these. You don't have to get these. Now I needed to get a total of um, at least three packs or four and I only got two not realizing that I actually needed three so I'll just use what I have for now and then go back and get some so I got those you will need some electrical tape um, I'm using a scissors you can get a wire um, cutter if you want to and that's basically it that's everything you need to do this so let me move this out the way and get started first thing we're going to do is take the bar light bar out of the box and this is just pretty simple i um know how to do with electricity for my dad he taught us a lot of stuff like this and in high school we had to do basically build our own circuit board and all this extra stuff so this is the packaging and it just comes in a basic plastic bag etc so I'm just going to move all this out the way. So this is what the bar looks like. Now these are the cards we will be connecting which is at the back here. I want to make sure you guys can see that. And this is what they look like. We have a black one and a white one. And this is the ground wire. You do not want to mess with this. This is positive. This is negative. And basically this is how we're going to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my... Um, drop card extension card whatever you want to call it and I'm just going to take it out the packaging I'm going to basically be cutting this and you're going to be cutting this so that you can reveal the wire that is underneath now I'm using this piece that I did already as a guide because I actually want to keep these which I can always reuse so I'm going to be using this as a guide to cut this one so you just want to take your scissors or like I said if you have a wire cutter go ahead and use that. I did not buy a wire cutter because when I went to Home Depot the price for a wire cutter for me to use to do this simple project at home it was just not something I was willing to buy at that moment and also my bulbs were $11 each a pack so it was not cheap. So this is what you need to make sure you cut this off and you need to have this. Now this particular thing which is the wire you can either like I said take your wire cutter or whatever I'm going to be using a scissors and I'm just going to cut it down the middle you want to cut it lightly you do not want to damage the card because you just need to split it down the middle about this much like that 
Okay, so the I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but in an extension card, just so you can know which is which, there is a rough side. I don't know if my camera is going to pick it up at all, but there's a rough side on the card, and then there's a smooth side on the card. Now, the smooth side is what you're going to be connecting to the black card. And then you have the rough side, which we connect into the white card. Now, when I say rough, it has like some detailing on the side of the card, and then one side is smoother than the other side. So, I'm just basically taking this to measure, take this off, to see how much wire I need to basically reveal from this. And I'm going to be using, like I said, my scissors. And you don't want to cut this deep, you just want to cut it enough to reveal the copper wire underneath and you just twist and pull it off and like I said do not do it deep because you don't want to cut the wire you just want to cut the plastic outing outside and that's basically it so once you pull it off you should have the copper wire reveal like that and you do the same thing on the other side and I am very OCD about measuring everything I do yes I know some people might be like, what's the point? But I just like to make sure everything is even. So, so I'm going to take this smooth one and I'm going to wrap it with the black. And you just basically twist these together. It's not hard at all. Like I said, guys, it's really, really simple. Just twist it really good so that they connect with each other. And you should have something that looks like that. And then you take one of your wire caps. I'm thinking the orange one because I'm going to do the same color for both sides that I have and a yellow so I'm going to take the orange the orange one and you basically put it on like this and you keep screwing until it gets really tight like once it's tight So once it's secure, now you want to take your electric tape, I call this black tape, and I'm just going to start by wrapping it around the wire connector and the wires as well to make sure I secure this completely because this is electricity guys and you do not want to be not doing it right and you know any wires are exposed and electric tape is good to be covering up any wires you have my dad taught me that Now the ground wire, you will not be needing this, so what I'm going to do is just take some tape and actually just put tape over it, um, you will need this. Now you can also use dimming lights if you want in this, I did not want my lights to be dim, I don't have time and patience for all of that, I just want when I turn on my lights, it looks naturally love like, like daylight and I can just go. So I'm just putting tape around this because we won't be needing this and just get that out of the way so the next thing I'm going to do is basically wrap the wires and center them down the middle like I did with the other one and I'm going to do the same thing with this one let me show you guys so you can see there you go everything is secure now it's time to test your lights to see if everything is connected completely right so I'm just going to be using one bulb for now and I'm going to screw this in now these lights do use a specific kind of bulbs so you have to make sure it's the right one because they are like chandelier lights and I am just going to plug it in in a card I have right here running on the floor so it's easy to show you guys and you're gonna see right now what everything looks like and there you go now your lights are working so you, I'm just gonna basically fill these up so that all my you know sockets have light bulbs inside and it's just gonna look really awesome so I'm just gonna turn this off now another thing you can do and I'll show you a picture of it is get like a um, light switch that is like those connector ones I have to get that but as of right now, since I don't have that, I'm going to plug this into a um, 
electrical outlet that has a switch so I can switch it on and off but I will go back to Home Depot and get it but I'll put a picture in here for you guys to see and get that and hopefully I can just you know click it on and off because I don't want to be plugging it in and out um I hope you guys like my do-it-yourself video um and until my next video I'll talk to you guys later bye